this is my Mark's Thor, and uh, this was made by Mark's Ameritrains in around 1995. Uh, never made a film about it. Uh, just thought it was a cool little uh, locomotive, and it's supposed to be an armored uh, army car. It looks like something that the Russians would have used during the revolution <laughs> in the movie Reds. But uh, the reason I'm making this film is I saw one for sale on eBay. And uh, quite to my shock, it sold for $557. Um, I paid a lot less. <laughs> a whole hell of a lot less when I bought this one. And uh, I was hoping to get the caboose for it, which is an armored car. But it sold for $306. So, needless to say, I didn't buy the caboose. Uh, together, they sold for over $800. It's just amazing what some people pay for trains. So, I uh, thought I'd give you guys a look at what apparently people think is worth $557. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Although I'm quite fond of the little train. One little faster than I thought it would. That's really cool. It's got uh, great litho. You can see the painted guns on the side and then the lightning. And then the name Thor and the vents. And I think this has something to do with atomic energy, that symbol. And then the lightning down here and the other cannon painted on, which really cool idea. And then the four cannons coming through the, uh, the uh, roof. But I'll run it around a few times and... Maybe I shouldn't even be running it now that it's worth so darn much money. It's uh, When you look at it, it's nothing more than a Mox, uh, Mark's box car that they put a little... <laughs> they've de They did a terrific job with Litho and, of course, added the little caboose roof for the um, extension with the cannons. But, uh, uh, $557, that's just kind of silly I think this runs kind of fast so this is just about it this is all the military trains I have I mean you got it all here I'm gonna shut it off and push it back in front of the camera on my my own production team and uh, you'll notice in the back it's got a tab and slot coupler so you can add a lot of other cars to it so you, Mark's originally put these out with steam locomotives uh, their army sets out with steam locomotives and uh, there were uh, clockworks the original ones and uh, some of them were based on the uh, Canadian Pacific style, and some of them were based on uh, uh, Commodore Vanderbilt, and I believe there was one other. And so they would have had a tender and lots of cannons and things. And I'm going to go grab my tank. This Mark's tank that usually goes for... $150, $60. I picked up at a junk store for uh, $30. And this would ride on a car behind the Thor. This has got a lot of wear on it. Some kid had a lot of fun with this. But this tank is, when you wind it up, it tips itself over and then it writes itself and all because of 
this little device down here and you could hear it running it it still runs quite well but uh, I haven't attempted to clean it up I'm quite sure if I did I just removed too much of the paint but I thought since uh, the caboose costs so much now maybe I'll just make a uh, olive drab um, flat car pull it behind <laughs> Thor and maybe put the tank on it facing the opposite direction so if anybody uh, pardon my French pisses them off the tank and <laughs> go off the ramp off the back of the flat car and go take care of business providing this guy will allow it <laughs> okay happy Easter everybody and